How's it going, everyone? How's it going, everybody? It's Art here again from Vibrant Performance, and right now we're in the Vibrant Performance booth. And with me, I have Scott Birdsall from Chuckles Garage. This is the mastermind behind the beautiful S197 that's right behind me, but also he is a racer. You might as well remember him from Pikes Peak. Uh, also a racer, he holds the diesel record for Pikes Peak. Uh, he's got Smokey F1, that it's his personal pet project that is one of the best race trucks I've ever seen. Um, a daily driver, um, also the LMP car that he built, the diesel uh, machine, and various other projects. You guys also might know him through his Porsche vehicles. That you, those are like the off-road Porsches. Yeah, so we call him the Overland 911, um, and that I have two shops. One's Resolute Motorsports, and one's Chuckles Garage. And Resolute Motorsports does all the air-cooled, like Overland Porsches. And Scott's also located in Santa Rosa, California, for you guys that are wondering. Now, Scott, talk to me about this insane Mustang and kind of, I guess we can tie after as to why it's in the Vibrant booth when we get to the back of the car. So this car came to me from my friend Jeff. Um, he'd had it at another shop. They'd done, they basically destroyed the car. And, he, and this, he's had this car since he was a kid and he wanted to bring it back to life and make it his dream car. So he pretty much gave me a clean slate on what to do. Just kind of let me have my artistic freedom with it. He told me the certain style he wanted and uh, this is what we came up with. It's a S197 Mustang. It's powered by a built uh, five liter Coyote motor. Um, it's got rear mounted twin Garrett GTX 3582s, around 1300 horsepower. The wide body kit is made by a company called Shirakai. Um, this is a one-off kit. They, uh, Shirakai did make this kit for our customers, but ours has a uh, updated rear fender, uh, lower fender arches, so so the you know the car doesn't have to sit on bags. It can sit static and still look good. But as you go around the car, it's a purpose-built race car. Tons of suspension work, uh, AST two-way dampers, huge Brembo Pista brakes, like full race car interior, but with a little fancy, you know, kind of cherry on top. Everything is covered in suede leather. It's really nice inside, but like all the special sauces in the back with the, with the turbocharger setup. And we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the paint, the color is one thing. I, a lot of people have been talking about it. Right. What kind of color is this? So this color is really cool. It's a, it's a factory Porsche color called chalk. And it's, it's, it's neat because it picks up all the colors around it. So like before they put the carpet in here, like this side of the car looked brown because of the, the uh, concrete there. You know, it picks up the whites from the carpet here. It'll pick up the blues from that sign toward the back of it. Um, and it's just like this really cool muted color with no metallic in it or anything else. Now, you mentioned the rear of the car. So the, yeah. bit, the two turbos, obviously you have it jacked up on uh, ramps and you put a mirror on the back. So what did you do back there? So it's got tons of your stuff on it. So it's got Viber Performance, stainless steel tubing, aluminum tubing, HD clamps, um, AN line, the PTFE AN lines, all the fittings, like all vibrant, catch cans, everything. It's a, it's a very well designed rear mounted turbo system. Very, very, very little lag compared to mounting the turbos up front. And the benefits for having them in the back, of course, is, you know, if you've ever seen these Coyote motors, they're freaking huge and there's no room in the engine bays of these cars. So putting it all in back keeps the underhood temps down. It makes the engine easy to work on. Uh, the turbo system's easy to work on. Um, and it's just cool. I mean, like, who doesn't want to look under the back of their car and see turbochargers? No, and I, and I agree. And, and one of the other cool things I noticed is uh, you actually never contact me, me or anyone at Vibrant for sponsorship. This is, you bought this flat out. Yeah, yeah, this is all, this is all customer stuff. So, so you, you naturally just go to the Vibrant product I mean, it, if you go into your booth and look at it, like, like, like we were talking earlier, like I, I appreciate like fine mechanical things and like the clasps on your HD clamps and the machine quality and the knurling you put on like the, the tanks and just, just the overall finish of all your stuff is, that's what draws me to the product and it's well designed. Like you can, you can see it with anything, like especially like you know your revamped bellows with the with the with the webbing on the outside to keep them from expanding and and all the thought you guys put into the catch cans and everything else like it's it's good stuff 
And we appreciate that because you're a very, very talented fabricator. You. So yeah, we, we appreciate everything the, um, and uh, are happy that you're, you're constantly using our product. Um, one question I know people are going to ask is filters in the rear. Is the car going to run filters? It is running filters. If you look at it, you'll see that the rear of the floor has two holes in it right above the turbos. So, and then on top of that, the filters are in the trunk. So, and the trunk isn't sealed, so it's not gonna like suck the car to a vacuum. Like there's, there's openings, but that does two things. It keeps everything from being, it keeps the filters from getting dirty. Like you see all these twin turbo setups with the filters like right next to the tires. It's like, you gotta clean that like a lot. So this one you don't, it's getting clean air all the time. It's getting cold air. Um, and the reason it looks like it has no filters on it now is just we don't have the 90 degree boots that go from the turbo to the thing on it just for show because it looks so much cooler when you can see the impellers in there. Oh, I was gonna, I'm going to wrap that up over there. I think you kind of covered everything in the car. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful build. Everything that comes out of your shop is always phenomenal, impresses the world. Um, so thanks so much, Scott. And uh, where can our audience find you? So all my social is at Chuckles Garage, like my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything is on Chuckles Garage. Well, thanks so much, guys. And as always, like, comment, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys on the next one.